Good morning, Cancer. Welcome, Water Sign. We are doing your reading. I'm doing something a little different. We have the full moon tonight, and I want to pull in. I want to pull an advice card from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. Now, if this is not your thing, I totally get that. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Um, but go ahead and click the timestamp. That'll take you straight to the reading. So let's get to this. Can I get a, some advice? Can I get a card for cancer? Any advice for cancer? Any advice for cancer this week? What do the Cancerians, what piece of advice could the Cancerians use? What piece of advice could the Cancerians use? Anything, anything, anything. What piece of advice could the Cancerians use? Any, anything, 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 anything. All right. You have the, you have gratitude and fear. Both came out. I've actually never seen that card. Are they amazing? Gratitude and fear. That's, I've, I've, out of all the signs, yours is the only one where two actually fell out. Okay, let's pull fear first. Um, waxing Gibbous. It is 11. You must, you know what? You have a Ten of Swords reverse and a Two of Pentacles reverse. It could be a decision time. Maybe you have a decision, but I, uh, we'll get into this. We'll get into what I feel here. All right, fear. The time for courage is here. Fear is only useful if it teaches you something. You must examine whether your fears are old or new, useful or unhelpful. Fears block flow. If there's one thing that stops people from fulfilling their dreams or even getting things done they want done, it is fear. Experiencing fear is built in a chemical part of our way. Experiencing fear is built in a chemical part of the way our brain works to protect us. Emotions such as fear cause the production of a whole raft of body chemicals that give us the best chance of coping with situations that need our attention to survive. There is a healthy kind of fear, the kind that warns us to keep out of dangerous situation or stay clear of someone who instinctively makes us wary. However, it would be a rare person who does not have at least one fear that does not serve them, a fear that is unrealistic or untrue, or perhaps based on an outmoded experience or something that is buried so deeply we only see the symptoms rather than the fear itself. Most fears have been formed with a positive intent of protection. We need to separate that intention out and, out and deal with it and deal with it in a more resourceful and less destructive way if we are to create ease and flow in our lives. Fear has many names. Covert ones are envy, jealousy, codependence, procrastination, bullying, people-pleasing, disconnection. More overt ones are avoidance, fear of failure, or fear of success. There is, however, a kind of antidote to fear, and it is courage. Fear will put up an initial resistance to courage, but it has no real long-term power against it. While we can be fearful, courageous at the same time, and I think courage contains a mighty big dose of fear, we can choose to face the fear and flow through it until we fear less and then eventually become fearless. The process isn't always graceful. It isn't always imp impressive because it may be slow and deliberate steps we take. Taking these steps isn't always easy and um, easy and understatement. It isn't always apparent to others, so it shouldn't be about us measuring how far we have come and not worrying about what anyone else thinks. Comparison is useless. Courage is powerful no matter what form it takes. Companion stone or metal, aqua, aqua, I can't even speak, aquamarine. And so with the fear, we have a two of pentacles reverse and a ten of swords reverse. Ten of swords reverse is overanalyzation, being stuck in one's head. Two of pentacles reverse is, is trying to control a situation. Are you trying to make a relationship work? Are you trying to get a relationship off the ground? Trying to get somebody's attention? Um, yeah, look at the five of pentacles. And I feel like maybe somebody's not giving you the attention or a job or lack of funds, whatever this is. But the Two of Pentacles reverse is almost, it, it feels like a lot of stress here because it's, it's almost like a forming an attachment, like you have to have this to be happy. When in reality, what, whatever you have, uh, whatever this is, they're not even seeing your value. Your value is here. This is your Ten of Pentacles, your Ten of Cups. 
So why, whatever you're trying to make work, where are they? Because I feel like some of you might be over here in the Eight of Cups reverse, waiting for somebody to see your value, see how much, how strong you are, how courageous you are. Maybe you're a fear of letting this person go um, and losing them forever. But the, but again, the right one would chase you down. The right one, you know, the right person makes would. Uh, how do you say that? The right person make, gives you no doubt how they feel. The wrong person makes you confused. And that, that is very, very true. If you feel confused about a connection, it's probably not the one for you. The right one makes it very clear how they feel for you. So I feel like somebody might out there might be in an eight of cups reverse because somebody's not, I feel like somebody's putting them on a hold or not feeling good enough, um, whatever this five of pentacles and two of pentacles reverses, willing to wait for this energy, trying to get back to what, you know, where you once were with this energy. And it's, it's getting to the point where six of wands reverse and a magician reverse, where something's got to give because you're starting to lose yourself in this connection. And then we wake up, look at this judgment in the ace of cups. And I feel like there's a lot of healing, could be a new love, it could be a new connection, but this is when you start to see things for how they really truly are. And I wanna go into this gratitude. Okay, 23, 23, 23. Let's see with the 23 here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, Cancer. Last quarter moon gratitude. Be where you are and be thankful. There's always something to be grateful for no matter your, su your suffering. Gratitude raises a lower vibration to a higher one. Do not allow yourself to be surrounded by too many negative people. Life is conspiring for you, not against you. As we enter the last quarter moon on the lunar cycle, the energies begin to turn towards surrender and release. To let go of what we no longer need, it behoves us to pay attention to what we have right now both positive and negative. This attention pain and focus allows us to wisely discern and to be grateful for all of it. Yes, all of it. Because the nasty stuff, the stuff that is making us suffer right now, it already happened and we can take wisdom from this. However, now it's going and what we have left is the good stuff. And frankly, most of it is going to be great. Taking some time out in this moon to list a few things you feel grateful for will raise your vibrations and banish any resistance you have to, di to ditching old outmoded patterns. Doing this also turns your powerful focus away from a story you may have started to believe of everything goes wrong or that life does terrible things to you. Gratitude is balancer. In fact, it normally tips the scales to the positive. Companion stone or metal, ocean jeps, jasper. Yeah, I just, whoever's making you feel like this, it's time to flip it. This is like the fool card, the wheel of fortune, the world. And it's, first of all, stop, stop comparing yourself to others. Don't compare your lane to other people's lane. Social media online can be a really bad um, enforcer of this kind of um, energy going on with the five of pentacles. But the two of pentacles is just giving it up just saying you know what if if this is an energy you're trying to obtain and they're still not seeing your worth cancer the best thing you can do is take yourself out of this self-made cage and put yourself somewhere warm because somebody else is going to value your energy i can guarantee you that and if this energy decides that you are the one that they really want they're going to find you i can guarantee you that but if they don't come and find you, they're definitely not the one. So, okay, let's see where we're going here with this. So we got the fear and we got the gratitude. Fear and what's below 10 of swords reverse? Yeah, two of pentacles. It could be a overanalyzing between two choice or moving on. Hangman feeling really stuck, seven of cups. I just feel like somebody might be confusing you. Um, some of you, it could be about taking a different job position even with more money and risking it all. But is it a risk if you're already at a five of pentacles and it's not paying the bills? 
All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. If you are a Cancer, know a Cancer, feel like being a Cancer. Cancers, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Cancer and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Cancer. It could resonate as the main story. And Cancer could be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Cancer. This reading could be for a Cancer. Take it as it resonates. And remember, the entire reading doesn't need to resonate to take the message. It might just be a tiny bit and you might get confirmation and say, you know what? That's so true. Um, and it might be a light bulb moment and that's all you need because there's just a lot of Cancerian energy making up this reading. So it, the likelihood that the entire reading is going to resonate for one person is highly unlikely. All right. General energy for the Cancerians. Let's go. Let's do this. General energy for the Cancerians. What are the collective messages that need to come out? What are the collective messages that need to come out? Okay. You got eight of swords and a ten of wands reverse. I think there's a can and a five of pentacles fell on the floor again. I think I'm dealing with a cancer that is just tapped out. I, f I really feel that. I just feel like you're tapped out. You're tapped out. You're ta maybe tapped out financially. You're tapped out with the way you're being treated. Eight of swords, the way <clears throat> not being respected. <clears throat> not being heard, not being listened to, six of cups and the eight of cups. And some of you just want to get back to this energy when it was good. Some of you, this is not like, let's say this is not your lover or your husband or your wife. This could be the people around you affecting this. But the five of, it could be your money affecting your relationship. But this is what you, you want to get back to. You want to get back in the heart space. I really feel like some of you might even want to go towards a love you know, go away with your love, go towards a love, but you want to get away from this. This feels like a prison of your, could be of your own making or a prison in your own home. It's like somebody's holding you hostage here. And eight of swords and the 10 of wands reverse is just ready to just drop it and run. Some of you want to run away from home. That's what I'm really feeling. You just want to run away from home. Okay. What's influencing the five of pentacles? just tired of being mistreated what's influencing the five of pentacles what's influencing the five of pentacles what's influencing the five of pentacles never too old to run away from home cancer what's influencing the five of pentacles what's influencing the five of pentacles two of swords reverse for your own peace of mind, making that decision to get yourself out of this. Again, it could be financial constraints because that is pentacles. But I just feel like no matter what you do, Cancer, it's not enough. I feel like you try your best and it's not enough for certain people. Not for everybody. I'm not saying that, but for certain people, it's not enough. And two of swords reverse, you're just tired of trying to please the unpleasable. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? The king of cups reverse. That's exactly what I'm feeling. Now, king of cups reverse could be emotionally despondent. And I mean, that could even be you. But this you being a queen of cups, that could be who you're dealing with too. That could be somebody emotionally unavailable. And that could just be, you know, tired of the way this person makes you feel. Or this could be, like I said, this could be you completely. Think of this as under the water. Here he's standing above the water. Here he's under the water. And I just feel like somebody makes you feel like, like no matter what you do isn't right. All right, what's in the past? Especially if this is around work. What's in the past, Cancer? What's in the past? Okay, we got two cards. Six of Pentacles reverse and the Hermit reverse. I could have lost a job. I could have lost a job, not know what to do. And that could be King of Cups reverse reason for the reading could just be like feeling so worried. A six of Pentacles reverse and then a five of Pentacles. 
I don't feel like you're getting help with whatever this is. It's not, there's no helping hand and you feel like it's all on your shoulders. And you're carrying the weight. I just feel like you're emotionally carrying the weight because we got a King of Cups reverse going on here. What's on your mind? What's on Cancer's mind? The Ten of Swords came out sideways. I think it was more upright, honestly. Ten of Swords is just done. And I, I, I just, it's, it just, this feels like somebody at the end of their rope. What's in the near future? What's in the near future? What's in the near future, Cancer? What's in the near future? I, I, I honestly feel like this is somebody that you've given the benefit of the doubt to so many times. And all they want is either money from you and they might disrespect you. And you, you might really care for them, but the way they treat you, it's just, you can't do it anymore. What's in the near future? It's like you give them your best and you, you get their worst. What's in the near future? And the Knight of Cups. I like that. That's good. Piscean energy. I like that. All right. What's this Five of Pentacles influenced by the Two of Swords reverse? Five of Pentacles influenced by the Two of Swords reverse. I honestly do feel like whoever I'm reading for, if you can financially or uh, there's a lot of financial constraint here, but if, if, if you can get away, this feels like you need a vacation ASAP from whoever this is. And if this is a boss cancer, the, you, you need to find a different office or a different job because this is not a healthy energy to be around. I feel like you're around somebody, if, if I'm going to be honest, King of Cups reverses mental illness. The King of Swords reverse and the King of Cups reverse can both be a mental illness. This could be somebody who deals with depression or maybe the, you, they, you might even be dealing with depression because of being around this. But it feels like this black hole of just stress. It's just like, this is not a healthy energy to be around. Five of Pentacles influenced by a Two of Swords reverse. Five of Pentacles influenced by a Two of Swords reverse. What is going on here? Wheel of Fortune reverse. It's been going on for a long time. Too long is the answer. Why the Wheel of Fortune reverse? Yep, in the sun. I honestly get, I feel like this cancer just wants to run away. Home is where the heart is. And for some of you, this is happening in the home. It's anywhere where the heart is. King of Cups reverse reason for the reading, Scorpio energy. Why the King of Cups reverse reason for the reading? No more. Why the King of Cups reverse, Scorpio energy here? We got the Temperance, the Four Swords, and the Judgment reverse. Libra, Sagittarius. I get this. Let's just say you go on vacation. Let's just say this is in your home and you get you back four swords. You pull yourself back. You get you back. This is an energy that somehow maybe this is your child. For instance, it's like you get enough distance to get you back and then judgment reverse judgment. It just feels like then it starts all over again with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Reason for the reading, it's about to start all over again. They're going to throw a temper tantrum because maybe this person, they want money, five of pentacles. They want something from you. It's a pain in the ass, a pain in the neck. It's like as soon as you get a bit of you back, get balance back, get your energy back, this energy has a complete meltdown. Who is this? Six of Pentacles reverse and the Hermit reverse in the past. Taurus and Virgo, both Earth. Six of Pentacles reverse and the Hermit reverse. And the Five of Wands. This is, this is, I don't know who, who I'm reading for, to be honest. This is a person when they don't get what they want, Six of Pentacles reverse, they throw a bitch fit. That's what that's about. They make you feel like shit when they don't get what they want. Wow. 
I don't even know what to say. I honestly don't. Ten of Swords on your mind. You're just so done with this. Ten of Swords. Gemini energy on Cancerian's mind. What is this about? Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. And the Three of Cups. There you are. Three of Cups is happiness, friendship, wanting to get away, wanting to just forget your trouble. Um, it's your energy. I, 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 I just can't stop feeling it. You just want to run away with, towards that energy. Or like I said, some of you have a good relationship, a romantic relationship. But maybe this is grown children, or maybe this is the out peripheral, like the outside family, or this is a job. And there's an aspect in a Cancerian's life that is causing havoc. It's not all of your life, but it's, it's, it's really becoming a problem. Knight of Cups in the near future. I feel like this is honestly you trying to get away. Knight of Cups, rejuvenation. You're fine getting your cup filled. What's this Knight of Cups in the near future? Piscean energy. What's the Knight of Cups in the near future for Cancer? What is that about? Yeah, Page of Cups. You know what else I'm getting for some of you? This is them getting their way. I'm kind of getting that too. So you try really hard to not give it to them especially if this is like, just think of it as a child, you're not giving it to them and they just bring down the house and then you, they get what they want. And then you got your five minutes of peace. That is the freaking cycle going on here. Some of you are either married to a grown ass baby, or this is like a child, or this is, a, this is them trying to get their way. Page of cups and the Knight of cups. This is somebody, this, this is, what is this Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups? Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. And once they get their way, oh, they're so sweet. That's what I'm getting. Because they got their way, they're so sweet. But then you have to heal from the stress that they, whatever they just did to you. Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. While you're like a, having a nervous breakdown. Yeah, Three of Pentacles reverse. While you have to get you back and you take a loss for them to have emotional, so you can get some emotional like, I feel like you have to be out. You almost have to pay this person off to get some type of emotional peace. Three of Pentacles reverse. Yep, Three of Swords reverse. Wow. I, 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 I feel so bad for whoever this is for. This is definitely not for all cancers. It feels like a private reading today. Three of Pentacles reverse and a Three of Swords reverse. Three of Pentacles reverse is really, I, I really actually feel you actually gave it to them. Back here, we have a Six of Pentacles reverse. And let's just say they didn't, they wanted something. And maybe they didn't get all of what they wanted, but they got partial. They got enough. They got enough. So you can, so you can get some type of peace. This, this is a very, very toxic, toxic, toxic energy. If this is like a boss, you could have planned a vacation and yet then they're still trying to schedule you on your vacation. And maybe you negotiated say, no, 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 I'm not going to work on my vacation, but okay, I'll work my first day. That's what that kind of feels like. They got their way a little bit. Not all of it. They got their way a little bit, but it still took a lot out. This is, I, I really feel the advice. Some of you have a fear of letting this go. And I feel like the advice here is the three of pentacles reverse. You have to, you, if this three of swords reverse and a three of pentacles reverse, it, this is an, it feels like an ongoing situation. I don't know how much longer this Cancerian can keep doing this. Honestly, this is, this is tough. If this is a, if it's a job, it's actually a lot easier than if it would be a child because a job, at least you can look elsewhere. You're not taking this home with you. If this is in the home, that's a lot more harder. Yeah, this is this, the home life has got to change because this isn't fair to the Cancerian I'm reading for. Definitely not. All right, Cancer, I'm sorry this was so heavy. This was a really heavy reading today. 
Um, I hope you guys have a, a good week and I will see you guys soon. Take care.